Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to Star Wars Squadrons. I am Computer, and last episode we helped a spy escape from the Rebels, and I blew up, and also I let some transports get away. I'm a very bad Imperial. And that's a TIE Bomber over there now, and we have a TIE Fighter there. So every time you reload the game, they kind of change what ships are standing where, which I find kind of cool. Also, I mean, I should talk to this guy over here, Gray. Uh, oh, hello. Still cute. So are those guys, though. Anyway, I'm using the joystick to look around here because mouse control is kind of borked for me, and... Actually, the game had a game-breaking bug for me the last week, which is why this is two weeks late. Anyway, um, let's look at our ship here. Uh, cockpit, yeah. We can look up, we can exit. And... Wow, you can actually look... Well, it's a very small, like, viewport out, but we can actually look behind us. Not to the sides, obviously, or down. And I don't know what to think about these uh, quote-unquote joysticks. Um, well, we have rudder pedals and then two buttons and everything else we have to reach forward and use. Not very... Not a, not a very good layout, if I'm perfectly honest. And the ergonomics of this, this stick is also kind of weird. But oh well. It's the Imperials. What do you expect? What are these? I don't know. Who else can go up here to get a better view of everything? And the TIE Fighter still looks so very iconic. I'm kind of flabbergasted by that. Most science fiction series try to not improve. That's not the right word because it, they always fail when they try to do that. But like modernize the design of the older like 60s and 70s era uh, designs or ship designs. Um, design language, I suppose. Uh, so, for instance, Battlestar Galactica, the ships in the original, the only ones that actually kind of... No, not even those. Most of the ships just kind of underwent a pretty massive change when it came to the newer series, which is now almost like 15 years old. But yeah, And then, then of course, Star Trek, where... Uh, but that makes a little bit more sense since the... Uh, Kirk era and the next generation, there's like a hundred or two hundred years between there, so it makes sense that they would come out with new ships. And Star Wars, it's roughly, you know what, I forget exactly how many years it is between Battle for Yavin and Battle for Ender, but uh, it's not a lot of years. And then again, like, we have the TIE Fighter, which was introduced in the New Hope, and then we get the TIE Bomber in Empire Strikes Back, and then the TIE Interceptor uh, introduced in Return of the Jedi. So they have upgraded things, but they still keep the old designs, and I do like that. Anyway, um, let's stop wasting time here. And it's still a little annoying that when you go to inspect, it's basically an entirely different map with different uh, points of interest, but uh, oh well. Yeah, let's go talk to Gray and see what he has to say. When Captain Carroll said she was bringing in one more pilot, I didn't know what to expect. Me neither. I've been flying a long time. This wouldn't be the first squadron I've seen compromised by nepotism. Fair. But... You did well today, pilot. Uh, Most no. spy extractions end with significantly more casualties. Oh, okay. Good then. If the team had any reservations about you joining Titan Squadron, you certainly put them to rest. Now let's go. Captain Carroll is waiting. Hmm. Oh, 
Who are those guys then? Anyway, let's go see the briefing and see what we have to do next. Agent Thor may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but the intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Oh, hello. Captain, is this the new pilot? Yes. A valuable addition to the squadron, wouldn't you You say? already knew that. Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorne. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. Ah, intelligence. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Carroll. Shall we proceed with the briefing? All right. Not sure what to think about that guy. So yeah, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Right, right. Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate oh. all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. Yeah, that makes we sense. Risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. Mm. I think there's going to be shenanigans. I've already contacted the Imperial authorities at De Severo. They're aware of the situation. You're certain he won't interfere? My of course he will. indicate that Captain Amos is trigger-happy, to say the least. His fleet is already in ruins after initiating several battles that were frankly quite unnecessary. Captain Amos is... enthusiastic. I'm nice. he's not a fool. The Empire can't afford to lose assets at this stage in the war. I agree wholeheartedly, Captain. After your impressive work at Hosnian Prime, this should be an effortless mission for you, pilot. Nope. Yes. My faith in you was not misplaced. No such thing. Make sure it stays that way. That will be all. <sighs> Imperial officers usually have quite a bit of pride, and having his nose... Cut? No, that's not the way I want to phrase that. Uh, bloodied, yes. Uh, in an earlier battle, probably makes him... Or her, I guess. Uh, a bit more trigger-happy to, like, prove their w worth, so to speak. And now they know that there's a massive convoy of rebel sh uh, ships nearby. Probably they want to attack. So, oh, wow. This is interesting. Inspect, no. Let's see, we have people to talk to. We have Sol over there. We have Grey and we have Vonreg. Let's talk to Vonreg first. Hello. The captain has a personal stake in Project Starhawk. A vendetta with Lyndon Javes. Take it from me, nothing motivates like betrayal. I've seen too many good pilots. Friends turned traitor. I put them out of their misery. But there's always more out there. Iden Versia. Erica Quell. I don't Linden need to know these Davis. names. They're not just traitors. They're loose ends. Problems to solve once the war is done. We should go. Mm. As far as motivations go, I'm not entirely sure I agree that revenge is a good one. Oh well. Hello. A simple in and out mission should be painless for us, but stay on your toes. 
You never know what cheap tricks the rebels will pull. De Severo. Hmm. Long way from civilization. I haven't seen the Outer Rim since the insurrection at Krigo. Well, let's get to it then. Get to your tie. We use trickery quite often as well, though, so I don't know what kind of leg he has to stand on. Normal ones, apparently. Anyway, Sol has something to say as well. Yeah. It's good to see Admiral oh. Sloan's spy network is intact. We can't operate in the dark. Half of the Empire's fracturing is down to commanders operating in isolation, without a grander strategy. They forget we're all one Empire, or should be. Perhaps annihilating this Starhawk will bring us together. You see Doubt it. Sloan's overall goal, yes? Unify, purify, and inspire. When we defeat this new Republic, we'll have survived the Crucible and come out stronger for it. On to bigger things. Mm. If she offers me something to drink, I'm going to have to refuse. And do we want to inspect this thing? I mean, it's big. I don't know how... We actually, you know what? How are you? That's physically problematic. All of the weight is like the... Center of gravity is somewhere around here. But the landing gear are over here and there are no others. I'm... this must be a really dense engine. Just saying. <laughs> All the way over there. Yeah. It could have just been solved so easily with a little extra one right there coming out and down. But no. Exit. And prepare to launch. The TIE Reaper is a specialist model made for utility and squadron support. If the enemy sees one, they know they're in trouble. Mm, with this loadout, okay. it's built to disable enemy fighters with ion lasers. I've also equipped jamming tech to keep you off enemy radars and tactical shields to protect allied TIEs. Interesting. Let's check some of these out. No? I... no. Oh, I don't get to make any kind of choices here. Got it. Well, let's launch then. Uh, I kind of want to know what the tactical shield is. Oh, right. It's it's a auxiliary. It's something I shoot at my friends. Got it. And I have standard deflectors and twin ion engines, standard hull, seeker warheads. That's good. Uh, I don't have any way to repair myself, though. Squadron mask. Right, well, this shall be interesting, I hope. Yeah, two landing gear right there at the back. Weird design. No interceptors this time. We all good? wreckage what happened here captain amos is bloodthirsty he's baited the rebels into pointless fleet battles over de Severo. and lost several destroyers by the look of it at least his recklessness allows us to stay hidden Fair stay point. together and keep your distance a convoy can't know we're tracking them yes sir titan 3's radar jammer will make it harder for the enemy to track you use it wisely We're off their radar. Let's use those debris clusters as cover and close in on the convoy. But don't boost your engines. It puts the entire mission at risk to fly so brash. I'm smart. That's quite the convoy just to protect rebel engineers. 
Why not destroy them? Stop those gearheads from reaching their destination. Patience, Von Reg. We'll have plenty of new targets once we locate Project Starhawk. Yes, sir. You're right. It's smarter to hit them at the source than slow them down. Mm, so that's how I'm supposed to use it. Keep this Got up. it. Slow down. Avoid detection. Overseer, we're in position. Hold, Titan. Patience. Remember what we learned at the Battle of Bashar? How could I forget? We strike when the moment is right, not simply because we can. But because we must. Attention! The Star Destroyer Tormentor is emerging from hyperspace. <laughs> <and other laughs> yeah, of course. Hello. Oh no. He can't be serious. Yep. He can. Am I the only one who saw this coming? Amos, what is also, the meaning he's of this? damaged. You're letting our enemy escape, Captain Carroll. Yeah, that's a point. Mercy. Fire the missiles. We can't lose this convoy. Titan, shoot down the Tormentor's missiles. Captain Amos, you are compromising a delicate That's mission. gonna... Hmm. Delicate? This is war. Snuffing out this new republic is the only mission. Take out the missiles. Where that are they? Idiot. Oh. Convoys alerted to our presence. No way we'll track their jump now. Yet I remain. I thought you'd let that one land and give them a scare. Captain Amos, this is foolish. The tormentor Come on, is severely show damaged. It's still capable of destroying a few rebel ships. Did I miss? No, I didn't. Just look at the wreckage around you. I see TIE fighters out there. Shattered. Broken. Yours, I assume. Oh, hello. Every victory has its price. Come on. Saving the rebels from Imperial missiles. If the enemy thinks we're saviors now, it won't last long. Uh, oh, Stay yes, focused. yes. Stop that scatter convoy. That missile made contact. Yeah, I know. Show I'm in a very... Bad spot. Convoy's hit. Titan, the tormentor is firing another missile volley. We'll take them down. The convoy is getting hammered. Practice makes perfect. Come on, where's the convoy's hit? Well, I do have a lot of... Oh, there, damn. It would be nice if the whole game actually highlighted the missiles rather than their targets. Keep it up, Titan 3. We need this. Sorry. Missile made contact. Yeah. An irregular result. The last of the missiles. Amos knows he's wasting his time. Good work, Titan. Rebel transports are headed toward the Overseer. They'll jump to hyperspace we... before our iron cannons can engage. You must stop them, Titan. Titan, X Wings on radar. Titan 3, disable the convoy ships with your ion lasers. We'll cover you. Oh, hello. Excellent. Your eye on fire is working. Titan 3 has ionized the first transport. Don't Ouch. Stop now. Bit more. Another convoy vessel ionized. Good work. I'm really not very good at this. Here I 
Beach shuttles. There we are. Oh, hello. Titan three, you will reach the shuttles immediately. More rebel fighters inbound. Deploy tactical hmm. shields to protect our shuttles. Oh right. Still too far away. We lost our shuttle. shuttle that destroyed. was way too fast. We lost our shuttle. Our shuttles are gone. We can't recover the data now. We'll try. Yeah. Weird though. Reached. Let's move. Oh, and now I'm here. More rebel fighters inbound. Perfect. Shield for you. I'm in position. Enemy starfighters are hounding a shuttle. Shields up. Tactical shield deployed. Captain Amos, you are losing this battle. Imperial might will always prevail. Uh, let me, I let me, you let to me. Retreat. Ruin my spotless record. You don't have a spotless record. You are outgunned, sir. Because you shot down my missiles. Not all of them. Fine. I wash my hands of this, Captain Amos. Oh, the glory shall be mine alone. Let's get a shield on that shuttle. Tactical shield for you. I'm on your wing. Shuttle Good. team, prepare to board. Seize the data. Find out where these ships were headed. Boarding party has breached the transport. The data will be ours in no time. The boarding party has breached the transport. Stand by. Take um. out the rest of the rebel fighters. Good. Attacking your target. Granting you a shield. Spirit's gone. Keep fighting. You exemplify Imperius. It feels like I'm Oh well. Let's just say I thought the X-Wing was uh, sluggish. This is like butter. Not buttery smooth either. You're safe. And with that, the starfighters are gone. For now. Overseer ready to receive shuttle team. Titan 3, keep them safe. Uh, let's see. Titan, the rebels have scrambled another fighter squadron. They're truly desperate now. We'll finish off their fighters. Titan 3, defend the shuttles. I'll put that rebel out of their misery. Joining up. Oh. We're with you. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to shoot my friend there. But shoot them I did. I'm in formation. You cannot win. Deploy shields on the shuttles. Yeah, I'm trying to, but there we go. Shields, excellent. They don't stand a chance. Let's see, do we have one more? Shuttle taking fire. I'm in formation. Perfect. Target is down. Go for that one. Think maybe. Shield you have. Shields, excellent. 
Oh, hello. Come on. Look at them, so helpless. The shuttles or the X-wings. It's a weird mish. Huh? Am I at zero or guess that's a nine? They can't come this close to the overseer. Shields up. I need some more. Uh, no, I can't. Mm. Doesn't feel like that did anything. Data is safely aboard the Overseer. Decrypting it now. That was fast. They haven't the even landed. Is taking heavy fire. Its destruction is imminent. Good. That fool. Titan, return to the Tormentor and cover its retreat. Yes, ma'am. Call off your squadron. I don't need her help. Then you're prepared well. to retreat? Never. Oh. You will not survive this assault, Captain Amos. Watch me. Uh, Captain Carroll, that frigate is coming apart. The tormentor is too close. Amos, evasive maneuvers now. Let's what are watch. You talking about? The frigate is about to explode. But, but I won. <laughs> uh, didn't feel He's like dead. it was that close. What a waste. Not really. At least we have what we came for. Mm. We don't have the location to, of the Starhawk. Titan, we've recovered the sector coordinates for the Starhawk dockyards, but the rest of the data banks are empty. Engineers must have wiped the rest when Captain Amos blew our cover. They were so close. An idiot Amos deserves to go down with his ship. Knowing the sector at least narrows our search. Linden can't hide forever. Titan, eliminate the convoy. Let Linden know we're coming for him. Wow. Uh, let's see. Middle information is you. Quick mission. Really quick, actually. Uh, can we get a... Yes, we can. 14 minutes or less. Yeah, I guess I did that. Endurings uh, complete without dying or failing. And then prevent any missiles from damaging the GR-75s. And disable all of them. Yeah. This one, in this ship, I worry. Like how... You'd basically have to... No. You'd have to park yourself basically at the Star Destroyer. Let's see, here. And then shoot the missiles as they go. But I think they shot missiles from the below as well. The way I was just circling around was not very effective. I wouldn't suggest it, but you also can't, like, go and stay where the transports are because they're going to shoot you. Uh, maybe if I slowed down, but then I would be a sitting duck instead. I honestly don't know how you're supposed to do that with the ship I had. TIE Interceptor, or TIE Fighter? No problem. Might even be doable in a bomber. But the sluggishness of that ship? No. Ah, well. <laughs>